because one's way was never the same as the others. <laughs> Someone asked me, Sadhguru, J. Krishnamurti was a master of his intellect. Rajneesh was a master of controversy. What are you? I said, I'm a master of chaos <laughs> I know how to harness chaos. I can make a chaotic situation culminate into something fantastic. So, every master had his own way. And all of this melted pretty well into the culture. You will see, except uh, today's English educated India, if you go to the rural masses, you will see if you go to a place, a, a Kumbh Mela is a fantastic display of this. If you go to, let's say, Kumbh Mela, a classic event on the planet, one like no other. Every kind of path, the weird and the wise, all perfectly fitting into each other. Nothing contradicts anything. Everything is absolutely different from the other, but nothing contradicts anything, everything fits in perfectly well. This is not something that a thinking mind, a logically correct mind, particularly a Western mind could understand. How do all these people fit together? This is because there is no right and wrong. The question is only about, has it worked for you or not? If it has worked to evolve you, into a higher state of being. It doesn't matter whether it's right for me or not, whether it agrees with me or not. If it doesn't agree with me, there's always another way for me. So this is a fantastic outcome of generations and generations of enlightened beings. Each one of them, unhindered by what the previous one had said, explored his own way, expounded his own path, never in conflict with the one before him or the ones before him. So this is the nature of exploration, that it's not about right and wrong, it's about just making it happen. Is the white flower the most beautiful one or the red flower the most beautiful one? Such questions don't arise out here. Such questions have come from cultures which are steeped in morality, as to something has to be good and something has to be bad. In this state of making something right and making something wrong, there is no way a spiritual process can happen because essentially spiritual process means all-inclusiveness. If you cannot embrace everything the way it is, if you have to accept some and reject some, then there will be no spiritual process, you will only have morality, no spirituality.